may the Lord continue to bless you. May the Lord continue to bless you. Amen. As you pass along, amen. In advance, in the name of Jesus. Our scripture reading tonight, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, beginning in verse 4 through 11. Then we're going to read Ephesians 11 through 16. Amen. And if we can, we'll get to Romans 12. But amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 through 11. And then Ephesians 4, I'm, uh, yeah, Ephesians 4, uh, verses 11 through 16, both will read in the New King James Version. First of all, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verse 4, and then we'll read down through verse 11. Um, I think that, uh, be, uh, that'll be it, and we'll pick up, amen, on Wednesday. Glory to God. It says there are diversities or difference, difference of gifts. Amen. There are different kinds of gifts. There are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of administrations, amen, ministries or workings, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. It's the same God works all in all. So there has, amen, if that be true, amen, it has to be a synergy. It has to be, amen, a, a, a type of oneness. Why? Because it's the same God who works all in all. Glory to God. Amen. Anything other than that, amen, is suspect. Verse 7 says, but the manifestation of, of the Spirit is given to each one of us for the profit of all. The manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one of us, amen, for the profit of all. Glory. So it's given to you but not necessarily for you. Verse 8, for to one is given the word word of wisdom, amen, through the same spirit. To another, the word of knowledge, amen, through the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. And to another, gifts of healing, glory to God, by, amen, the, the same spirit. Amen. Verse 10, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, and to another the interpretation of tongues. But, but one and the same spirit is working all things, distributing, distributing to each and one individually as he wills. Amen. Distributing to each one individually as he wills. It's not something that we pick and choose. It's not something... Amen. That we raise our hand, amen, and vote for. It's not something that is in the control of human activities, human mind or will. Amen. He's distributing to each one individually as he wills. What you have is the will of God. Amen. The gift that you have or will give, will receive, it is a man of God. Amen. It has nothing to do with your favoritism. I want this one. I want that. Glory to God. It's the spirit that is deciding Amen. Who does what and who gets what? Praise God. Amen. Um, let's 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 go down. Let, let's add verse 27 through 30. I think that's good to add to this. We'll fill in the we'll fill it in on tomorrow night. Now, now you are the body of Christ. Amen. Men members individually. Now you are the body of Christ, members individually. And God has appointed these in the church. Amen. First, apostles, second, prophets. Third, teachers. After that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, administration, administrations, varieties of tongues. Amen. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracle. Amen. Do all have uh, gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Amen. These are rhetorical questions that, that the answer, of course, is no. It's no. Do all interpret? Amen. But earnestly desire the birth, the best gift, and yet I show you a more excellent way. And so this is another place where the chapter break doesn't do the continuity of the context justice, because it goes into 1 Corinthians 12, 12 in regard to the more excellent way. Well, the, amen. Uh, goes into to chapter 13, dealing with the more excellent way. And he said, though I speak Concerned now, he started talking about the activities of the gifts. And though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and if I have love, I become as a sounding brass or as a tinkling cymbal. He says, amen, though I can have the gift, 
but if it's not combined with love, I'm just making a lot of noise. Amen. And though I have the gift of prophecy, understand all mysteries, all knowledge, though I have faith so that I can move mountains, but if I, if I have not love, I'm nothing. Although I can bestow my goods to the poor, to feed the poor, amen, and though give my body to be burned, but I have not love, it profits me nothing. Amen. And that's, that's, it's, 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 it's one of those places where the chapter breaks. Amen. You can't think of it as a change of context or different or anything because in reality, it's just a continuum. Ephesians 4 and 11 says this, and he himself, amen, gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastor and teacher. Amen. We recognize a fivefold gift, but there's some who only recognize a fourfold gift because they add together pastor, teacher, all in one. Amen. For the equipping, the purpose of each of the these what we call ascension gifts, or amen, the governmental gifts, is for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of the faith, to the knowledge of the Son of God, amen, a perfect man, a perfect man, not perfect as in flawless, but translated mature man, amen. The purpose is to bring about maturity, to the to the measure of the statue of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. Amen. So Christ is the measurement. Glory to God. In other words, from glory to glory to faith to faith, becoming more like Christ as he was in the earth realm. Amen. That we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things unto him who is the head Christ, from whom the whole body is joined and knitted together, amen, by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share, amen. When it does its share, it causes, it causes growth of the body, edifying itself in love. Glory to God. All of these gifts Praise God that we'll mention and will mention, amen, each part must does its share. As each part does its share and serving, amen, one another with these gifts, praise God, through submission of the Holy Spirit, it causes growth of the body and it is built, building this up, amen. It's edifying itself, amen, in love. We're doing all things in love. It's causing the body to build itself up, amen. Tonight, amen, I want to deal with understanding spiritual gifts, understanding spiritual gifts. Praise God. We, amen. This is a manifestation of the spirit well, which God has given us, amen, the ability, amen, to be a blessed mankind, serve him through the power of our gifts. Praise God. It's a manifestation of the spirit. Uh, like the fruit of the spirit is a manifestation of the presence of the Holy Spirit, amen, spiritual gifts, is a manifestation of the Spirit, and he does it as he wills, amen. But 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter says, amen, he gives this, amen, to profit all, amen. He given to profit, to the profit of all, glory to God, amen. So what we have, we have been given to us so that, amen, all can profit, hallelujah. Everything you, the, every any gift that we've, amen, been given, it's the manifestation of the Spirit. It is given for the profit of all. Amen. We are stewards. We are stewards of the manifold blessings of God. Amen. And we have to give an account of our stewardship. Praise God. God has given this, of us this gift, and we are to develop what God has given us. Amen. Gifts are developed through prayer. That your gift is developed through submission. Amen. Through biblical studies of the gift. Praise God, and uh, but also it is developed through uh, uh, being uh, uh, discipled with similar gifts other people possess. Somebody else got the same gift, more advanced, and you are being discipled with that gift. And then some with other biblical, res I mean, other resources that help with your Bible to help you to understand what you possess and how to use it. Glory to God, and how to serve others with the gift. Glory to God. Gifts are given, spiritual gifts are given to serve the body 
amen, so for the profit of all, not, not to make one popular, amen. It's, the gifts are not given to make one popular, amen. It's not for yourself. It's not to, amen, uh, to give yourself a great reputation in the church, all of this thing. It's a, it is part of the service that God has given us. Glory to God. But the, but the main matter, the, 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 the bottom line for using the gift is love. Amen. The bottom line for using the gift is love. Praise God. Without love, we're just making a lot of noise. We're real showy. Praise God. Amen. And we're just trying to make points and build ourselves up, have a reputation. Amen. Through that pride. Glory to God for ourselves. Amen. This is a serving type thing. This is a service type thing. Glory to God. In the Amen. In first in uh Ephesians 4. In 11, he says, amen, concerning these gifts, amen, these five are considered and classified as ascension gifts or their governmental gifts, amen, the governing gifts, the apostles, the prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, amen, they are equipping and empowering gifts. They're given for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, amen. These gifts are equipping gifts or edify, building up gifts. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So these gifts have a greater level of, 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 um, of uh, responsibility. Praise God, because they are equipping gifts. Amen. They are edifying gifts. Glory to God for the body of Christ to be built up to do the work. Amen. So it's very, very important that if you call to any of these five gifts, amen, that's, <laughs> hey, praise God, there's so much work to do. Amen, in regard to that. Now, the nine gifts that we see in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 through, amen, 11, or I'm sorry, uh, verse 8 through 11, those gifts, praise God, uh, are, amen, the nine of them are categorized three at a time. The nine are categorized, amen, three at a time. Praise God. So the first category, the first three are called utterance. The first three are called utterance gifts. Amen. There are uh, uh, the, uh, diversities of tongue, praise God, interpretation of tongue, and prophecy. These are utterance gifts. Amen. The div kinds of uh, diversities, the different kinds of tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy are utterance gifts. Amen. These three. The, the, uh, the uh, word of knowledge. Word of wisdom, discerning of spirits, these are called revelation gifts. Praise God. And we'll get to this even more, amen, on Wednesday. Praise God. They are revelation gifts. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, praise God, and the discerning of spirits are revelation gifts. Amen. So they're utterance gifts, revelation gifts, and the other three are called power gifts. Other three are called power gifts, and they're working of miracles, amen, special faith, and the gift of healing, amen. They're called power gifts. So we got three categories, utterance gifts, revelation gifts, and power gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, amen, uh, verse 8 through 11. Glory to God. So the first category is utterance gifts, various kinds of tongues, amen, interpretation of tongues, and prophecies. These are called utterance gifts. Amen. The second, again, revelation gifts. Amen. These are called revelation gifts or words of wisdom, words of knowledge, and discerning. Praise God. The, third, the last category are called power gifts, which are the working of miracles, special faith, and the gifts of healing. Praise God in the gifts of healing. Amen. So that's the three categories. So you have utterance gifts, and these gifts. Amen, say something. Utterance gifts, these gifts say something. Amen, revelation gifts, listen to this, revelation, amen, and gifts, they reveal something. So you have one that say something, the other that reveals something, and then the last gifts, amen, they do something. Praise God, the working of miracles, special faith, gifts of healing, they do something. So we have gifts that, amen, that say something. That means that reveals something, praise God, and that do something. 
glory to God. Amen. And all of that is given to one, given to individuals for the benefit of all. All of that is given to individuals, praise God, for the benefit of all. We have utterance gifts that say something. That's the kind of tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. We have revelation gifts that reveal something, which is words of wisdom, words of knowledge, and the discernment of discerning of spirits. Praise God. And then we have, amen, power gifts, and they do something. And this is, amen, the miracles, and amen, and faith. Praise God. In the gifts of healing, they do something. Glory to God. Amen. I think that's a better way to, to remember. And again, if you don't get all this, go back to the podcast and, amen, take your pen with you when you write that down. The word of wisdom, and I got to come to this now, and the word of knowledge, the discernment of spirits, amen, are very different. Word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, and the discerning of, of spirits, they're very different. The word of, of wisdom is the uh, supernatural, God-given ability, amen, to speak wisdom into life, into situations. It's more strategic. Glory to God. It's a word of wisdom, amen. It's a supernatural ability, amen, to, amen, release strategies and plans, amen, wisdom to, amen, to individuals. Then we have the word of knowledge. Of knowledge is, as Paul was not a mariner, but he had revelation, that you should not sail. Praise God. This is a man. It's a word of knowledge of someone who has not uh, had previous experience in a particular category, but they, but supernaturally God give them a word of knowledge. Amen. And we'll talk more about this again this week. Then there are discerning of spirits. The, 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 the base, uh, the basis for discerning of spirits is the ability to tell the difference. Amen. The base is the, of discerning the spirits is the ability to judge or tell the difference in who's speaking. Amen. What spirit is that of? Where is it coming from? Amen. The discerning. It's able to judge. It's able to judge, to put in the scale, to tell the difference of who's, amen, who's speaking, what's manifesting. Is that gift? Is that spiritual manifestation? Is that of God? Or is that the devil? Or is that flesh? Amen. That's a, that's a gift to have is the discerning of spirits. And incidentally, you can possess more than one gift. Amen. Incidentally, you can possess more than one gift. Glory to God. Amen. So the discerning of spirits is what we need in this hour like never before to be able to discern, amen, the manifestation. Where is this coming from? Amen. A hearing, a sensing, and knowing that that is not of God. Amen. Beloved, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirit. See the, whether or not it be of God or not. If you're not strong in discernment, you need to know somebody that is. Amen. That's gifted in discernment. Hey, praise God so that you don't eat everything that's put on the table. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Beloved, don't believe every spirit, but check this, test the spirit. See if it be of God or not. Amen. That's a discerning of spirits. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so we 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 understand that that those nine gifts get categorized in three different sections. They're categorized in three different sections. One, utterance gifts. The two, revelation of amen gifts that reveal something. Utterance gifts that speak something, and power gifts that do something. Working of miracles, special kind of faith. There's a difference between faith. Listen to this. There's a difference between faith. Saving faith and special faith. Amen. Some of them have faith to move mountains. Praise God. It's a gift of God, a, a kind of faith to move mountains, a special kind of faith. Amen. Not saving faith, but a special kind of faith. Glory to God. Amen. Then those that, amen, that uh, work miracles and healing, that's a gift. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a gift. Not all ascension gifts possess the ability to heal. Not all ascension gifts possess the ability, amen, uh, to heal. There's sometimes a misconception, and they think that because you're an apostle, because you're a prophet, that, amen, you function in the gift of healing, and that's just not so. Everyone has this, amen, every gift has this particular grace, amen. Bogus has a, di a different grace, amen, than it does some of his other counterparts. Praise God. You have to learn to be built up and know your place in the Lord. Glory to God. Be learned, be built up. Know your place in the Lord. Know what God's called you to do. 
Amen. The, uh, and so spiritual gifts, amen, we must develop what God has given us. Hey, praise God. We must develop, and I got to deal with this for a minute, amen, because the gift uh, develops best in the holy environment. The gift will develop best in a holy environment. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. Amen. In an environment that's conducive for growth. Hey, hallelujah. You can't develop your gift till it's full potential living like the devil. Glory. I'm going to say that again. You cannot develop your full your gift potential, amen, and then live like the devil or live fleshly life. Amen. It develops best in the holy environment. Amen. And we build ourselves up in our gift, praise God, through submission, through prayer, amen, through listening in this, waiting on God to move, amen. Uh, that's why it is so critical that we uh, be delivered from all levels of pride and stay that way. That's why it's critical. It's so critical to be delivered from pride in all levels of pride, all manifestation of arrogance, because a fleshly arrogant individual will, will take what is God and try to make himself a reputation. A fleshly arrogant individual would rob God, amen, and make himself of a reputation with God's gift, amen, acting like it belonged to him. Glory to God, amen, amen. So that pride is dangerous. Glory to God, amen. And you, you want your gift to go in dormancy, being arrogant is the best way to do it. Being full of yourself, pride, that is the best way to be put, amen, on hold, amen. There are, there are two kinds of, vessels in the house, one of honor, one of dishonor. The best way to get put on the shelf for a season is through pride and arrogance. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, amen. There's much more to say about that. Glory to God. I don't have time. So this is necessary that we understand gifts. The other thing that is necessary that's mentioned in the text is that, it is the same, that we receive it from the same spirit, governed by the same Lord. And so it is it is uh, to our benefit to learn how to work with one another. It is our benefit to identify and be able to uh, see other type of gifts that we don't possess so we'll know what to use, when to use, and how to work together to cause the body to grow. Amen. What fleshly individuals do who are, are not yet mature in the Lord, they take the gift, amen, and hoard it, and amen, and, 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 and op trying to operate personally when I get ready praise the name of the Lord see that's not the that's not the that's not the text amen uh there's a governor over the gift and there should be a synergy there should be a working together a oneness when gifts amen when we have gifts praise God we learn uh, praise God uh how to how to watch each other the Bible says know them that labor among you know them that labor among you know what you know who it is what they possess, how it manifests, amen, when to bring it in. Glory to God is like having a good toolbox. Praise the name of the Lord. You got to know how each part works to get this maximum benefit, to get the maximum benefit, amen, and Christ is the master over the toolbox. Glory to God, amen. The other thing, and then I'm done, is that we cannot dictate what gift we get, amen. Say it again, we can't dictate what gift we get, and we can't dictate the season when we'll be used with the gift. Praise God. We can't. We cannot. You can't tell the spirit what to do because he don't take. He don't take commands from flesh. He don't take commands from emotions. He don't take. Definitely don't take commands from arrogant people who are full of pride. Amen. He gets his orders from above. He gets his orders from above. Glory to God. And it's good for us to surrender to that. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. So it is, it is to our benefit, amen, to be able to see, study, and develop and understand gifts so that we're working together, it will cause growth and edification. I say this, amen, and I'm done. It will cause growth. It will cause the building up, edifying, being built up itself. And the motivating factor is love. Praise God. The motivating, the, amen, the catalyst for any gift Across the board is love. Jesus asked Peter before, amen, his final ascension, 
amen, at, at his post-resurrection, Peter, do you love me? Amen, do you love me? If you love me, feed my sheep. Glory to God, amen. You love me, amen. Your gift is to feed the sheep, amen. You can't feed, amen, my sheep with just natural gifts, with natural talent. You got to have the gift I gave you, amen, and the ability. So this is it, and I'm finished. Uh, the gift is akin to your engine in the car. The anointing is like an under gas. Amen. The gift is like the engine, but the anointing, uh, the spirit is like gas. The anointing is simply this, giving you the ability to manifest the gift. Amen. So you can have a possess a gift, but if you're in arrogance, if you're living in sin, blah, 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 all that kind of thing, have a gift, but it might, amen, but it not manifest. Amen. It, it will not manifest because of the condition of our heart. It will not manifest or not manifest often because of the condition in our heart. Amen. When we fast and when we pray, there's, amen, the gifts start to kick into action. When we fast and we pray, we've seen that Sunday, there's a manifestation of gifts and there's a sharing and there's a diversity. And we learn how to, we learn how to work together, amen, as the body of Christ. You saw that manifestation on Sunday. There's no jousting. There's no pushing around. and There's no taking place. It's just a flow in the spirit. Why? Because he is the administrator of all of that. He's the minister of the sanctuary. Christ is the minister of the sanctuary. And we do good to yield to him. Praise God. We do well to yield to him. He's the administrator in the sanctuary. So we're always taking cue from him. Not necessarily the leader. Praise God. But we're taking cue from him. But amen. God does work in there's got to be a center, a leading force, amen, so that we just don't go off and be each man doing what's right in his own sight. There has to be a government. There has to be a governmental center so that we just don't keep going around and around. Each man doing what's right in his own sight, but no governing center. Praise God. Glory to God in the highest. So I encourage you in the name of the Lord this week, amen, study the gift. Ask the Lord what's your gift and how to maximize and build up your gift. How to, amen, be a good steward over what's given to you, amen. This is important because what's given to you is not for you. It's not for your build up your personality. It's not to build up your Facebook account. It's not for your, amen, for your, all of your social media platforms and all of that so they can see how well you, amen, you are, how gifted you are. Oh, my God. Praise God. All of that stuff, the pats on the back will ruin you if you're not careful. All of those accolades and amen, all of that stuff will ruin you, amen, and will cause you to operate in pride if you don't, if you're not, if we are not careful. Will cause us to act, well, I'm say us, will cause us to act, operate in pride and arrogance if we're not careful. Praise the name of the Lord. So God bless you tonight and praise God. Uh, shift mindset, shift gears in regard to spiritual gifts. Glory to God. Go back, study, ask the Lord to give you understanding give you revelation, knowledge, and insight. Amen. This is our last week, but let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. Again, praise God. So we give God praise and thanks for each and every one of you. Again, tomorrow night, we'll be on uh, uh, BBM Intercession Line. Praise God. Father, I thank you. I give you praise and glory and honor for all that you've done, all that you've already done in us, for us, and through us. Now, Father, give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that we can walk circumspectly as to please you and we understand your timing, your gifts, all that you've given for us, for you bless us with all, all the heavenly blessings. Father God, bless us, we need in the heavenly place. And we give you praise and thanks and glory in Jesus' name. Praise God and amen. 